welcome back to the Celebs News Terror channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I love having your energy here, and if you're new, welcome. Um, I hope you enjoy this reading, and uh, please note, there are many other videos I have here available on my channel for you to watch. Thank you. Okay, so let's begin. Today we're going to be doing an energy reading on Travis Kelsey and Kayla. This Kayla Nicole. Let me make sure about that name. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to be doing an energy reading today about Travis Kelsey and Kayla Nicole, okay? We're going to be doing an energy reading on them. And this is a very much requested reading. I've gotten several requests on this one, so I'm not going to skip it. I'm going to do it. And, um... Hey, Mom! Okay, so I usually just do uh, readings for Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. That's kind of my go-to but um, I've gotten this recommendation multiple times, so I'm going to act on that now, and I think it's a great idea. So even though they're broken up, I didn't see the need, but let's take a look, right? And let's see what the energy is like between those two. Especially given, um, especially given some of the tension I heard uh, on the news that there was some tension between the Swifties and Kayla Nicole. Let me see, what was that about? If you know what this is about, then please leave a comment about this in the com in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. Yeah, it says that, um, you know, Swifties tend to attack Kayla Nicole. I just read about it on Reddit. Um, I don't fully understand it. I, I don't think it's warranted, but um, hasn't it been like a, a long time since they, they were together? I think Travis and Kayla, it's currently 2024. Did they not break up like a couple of years ago? go or something so that seems a little weird that there she's being attacked i wasn't sure i don't think she said anything offensive but i don't know i don't fully understand it i don't really keep up with all of it so if you guys know more about it leave me a comment in the uh, a polite comment please in the comment section okay i only accept polite non-combative um easygoing you know messages with light and love because that's what I try to put out in the world and that's what I feel I deserve. I don't feel I deserve negative messages and when I see a negative message that's angry I'm like oh that's not for me so I instantly delete uh, because I just don't I don't have space for it I and mean, life is so full of good things I literally have no space for negativity. Um, so but let's engage here I would love to hear what you think about this conflict between Kayla Nicole and Swifties. Okay, so let's go ahead and take, do an energy reading between Kayla Nicole and uh, Travis Kelsey. And depending on how it turns out, I'm going to maybe look into what's going to happen in the future between them. I don't know. We'll see what the energy is like first, okay? All right, let's begin. Okay, we'll do his and her section. We'll do his and her section, okay? All right, so here's what he's thinking about her, okay? <clears throat> the things are remaining the same somehow, okay? Things are remaining the same somehow, okay? Um, and the thing that's remaining the same is maybe messages, swift messages. Oh my gosh, swift messages and Swifties, okay. So he's aware of some of these messages that have been sent, perhaps um, messages filled with fire, you know, um, impulsive messages. So this could be insults, fighting, domestic instability. It could be that he also, I'm also seeing that he decided to limit something, okay? When he thinks of Kayla, he thinks that he decided to limit things with her because there was a lot of fights, okay? Um, also, he, he um, Travis, maybe felt like she was very money oriented he felt like kayla was very money oriented uh and more into like you know what's in it for me where's my money at you know all that stuff uh and he felt like maybe maybe he felt she was jealous of him i don't know okay yeah he feels like she's about material power and not about romance okay he feels that she's not about romance okay let me see we have the emperor finally what does he think and feel about her Okay. Yeah, I think he feel like, you know, he ended that. Yeah. So I feel like, um, I think he wanted to be her husband at one point. He wanted to be her husband at one point, I think. 
Uh, but that ended, okay? The Eight of Wands is about something that quickly ended. I mean, this is literally the card of swiftness. <clears throat> Movement, action. Another alternative uh, at this is that he is still holding on to her. And he still um, quick, like, visits her a lot. This could be sexual activity, okay? And he's still her man. That's possible. I think he might want to be her man still. That's, I mean, look at the cards, okay? Also, I'm seeing that he, um, he wanted to limit things with her. He quickly ended it and is standing firm on what he did with her. He's standing firm on that ending, okay? Because he's now realized who he's going to be, okay? That he's the man, you know, the emperor is like an accomplished male. It could be a father figure, a, a husband. Uh, perhaps he quickly ended it because he, he maybe he met, he found the one. Maybe he decided he found the one he wanted to be with in, in Taylor Swift and he wants to be Taylor Swift's husband. But remember, the question is, what does he think and feel about Kayla? Okay. And so the reason I went through that for you guys is so you, I can, you know, g get into that for a bit. But the question is. What does Travis think? What does Travis Kelsey think and feel about Kayla and Nicole? I think that he wants to hold on to her. He's fallen in love with her again, okay? And he wants to be her man. That's what I'm seeing there as well. So let's see, see what uh, Nicole, Kayla and Nicole, thinks of Travis Kelsey. Here, let's take a look. That's another thing I'm seeing. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Um, she thinks of him as a, a time of the past, okay? She's like, you know. That was when, you know, those were the good old days when we were younger, <laughs> you know, he was my boyfriend when we were younger and stuff, you know, that was, I remember, I have all these memories of him, of how things were, so maybe even occasionally she reminisces about him, but like in an innocent way, okay, um, she feels like <clears throat> there was a certain chemistry they have together, certain things they do together, uh, some things they did together when they were younger, Maybe she feels also like they were a really good fit when they were younger, okay, when they were younger. But it quickly became toxic, okay? She found that it became toxic. That maybe at first, okay. Mm. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, and she saw that it quickly became toxic. When they were younger, they were a better match. They were a better fit. But when they got older, it feels like things became more toxic. And, you know, I know that she, uh, Kayla Nicole is Scorpio sign, sun sign, and Travis Kelsey is a Libra. Her being a water sign, water signs are intuitive and emotional. And air signs are more like um, cerebral and logical, rational. It feels like air signs, they may struggle with their emotions at times because they're more in their head. So as a result, water sign may end up feeling ignored by air sign because air sign focuses on like conversations and facts and stuff and water sign is about their emotions okay but i feel like they have the opportunity to balance each other out like for instance you know uh kayla could have learned to be more um logical and balanced more like more logical about things she could still to learn how to do that and then travis could have learned to tune be more empathetic tune more into his emotions you know so they could have kind of they, there's a possibility that, that if they channel the relationship correctly that they could balance each other out especially if they're both trying to make sure not, neither one is hurt but it's going to take a lot because the default setting for Libra is they're logical and in their head Travis is more of a logical cerebral kind of person okay and he's not as emotional and so that might rub a water sign wrong a rub, rub a water sign like Kayla Nicole in the wrong way there's positives though in this connection but yeah I think that yeah I think she just felt like they were growing in different directions for sure all right let's go ahead and take a look then at the next set of cards I'm gonna go into some Oracle cards here yeah let's see what this love deck has to say I'm kind of curious to see if there are any love feelings left all right, so on his side, okay, Travis is feeling like 
Um, he wishes he could take back some of the things he said to her. I think he feels like, man, I didn't mean to burn that bridge like that. I think maybe he was a bit rough about some of the things he said. Okay, he wishes he could do different. Okay, I can't seem to forget about you. See, told you. He's still attracted to her. Told you. He's still attracted to her. Um, and he wishes he could have kept things the same with her. Because he actually, I think he wanted to marry her. He wanted to be her husband at one point. Let's take a look at the next card. I'm starting to realize the depth of our connection. Yeah. So he's still in processing mode over, over the connection between him and Kayla. Okay. He's still realizing there's a lot about that connection that he loved and liked. And he can't get her out of his mind. I think he's seen her around. That's what the Eight of Wands is. And he still remembers her. And he still kind of has these like, when he sees her, these feelings go through his body. He just kind of remembers what it was like to be with her. And, you know, he's still attracted to her. He wanted to marry her. And he's realizing, man, she would have been someone out of love to wife, wife up. Because that's what the Emperor card is. Okay. Let's take a look at her side. you are the most precious person in my life so she's still on top of the six of cups yeah she still thinks of him fondly that memory is still there the love that they shared she still feels it okay she views it as a past memory though with the six of cups like that was a long time ago but he reached that height with her okay um she felt like no he's he's great he's great i, I really i loved him she loved him she just point blank loved him he can't seem to forget her so let's see no, now is not the time. So she feels like the situation got toxic in a way that she doesn't want to go back to. She doesn't want to go back to that. Okay? I use material possessions to mask my true self. Remember we said that he views her as uh, materialistic? <laughs> that she's all about, where's my money? Where's my stuff coming from? And she's like, she, it's like, and she's acknowledging, yes, I come across, I'm very materialistic, especially with the debit card. I'm very materialistic, for sure. But it's not really, like the real me inside is more of a softy, my heart's big, and I feel big. So she really felt for him, but she liked to hide behind the materialism as a way to protect herself. To show this, but this is what I'm about. If you can't come like this, then you're not, you know. So materialistic issues may have gotten in the way in their relationship too. That's potential. So I'm seeing the devil and I'm seeing the four of pentacles. Possessiveness, you know, holding on to things, to material things, objects. Um fascinating okay let's move on to the next row of cards be right back okay let's take a look on his side we have the hermit okay so he's keeping away from her for now though that's the action he's taking he may be feeling all these strong feelings but he's kept himself separate and he's considering things He's dwelling on things. He's still processing. I'm telling you, I'm getting processing vibes. I said that before. He's still processing Kayla, okay? He's still thinking, okay, yeah, yeah, it didn't go well. We had domestic disputes and things were going on. I wished, I wished to have been able to hold on to her, but I couldn't. Um, and he thinks that she was a great person too, actually. He thinks she was great. But he feels like he needs to just stay with himself and process what happened between them okay and here we're seeing the wheel of fortune he's like well on to the next right he's accepted it he's accepted that ending okay nine of wands and he's um keeping his boundaries up with her okay so there's several layers there's a, a few layers here okay where he is processing her um but he's realizing it's best if they stay separate for now because it's just time and um he needs to uh, stay away from that which was challenging to him he found her to be challenging especially with the eight of wands okay so kayla and nicole ten of cups she feels harmonious about him she feels like okay that's great she feel however things are between them now where they're separate he's with uh he's with taylor she's doing her thing whatever that is um i believe she's focusing on her career um she's content she feels completely fulfilled and content with it being that way eight of coins she's focusing on her work her career like i just said she's acquiring expertise she's building a career that's where her heart and mind is she's into the idea she really is materialistic actually uh, in some ways in some ways uh and not in a bad way but it kind of implies it is she might be get a little like it's about the money for her it's almost to the exclusion of everything else and i think he picked up on that about her as well uh and she's like i need my priority right now is i'm to, i'm here to build a legacy for myself and the people that come after me I'm here to build lasting security for myself. I want to take this to the max. 
um, and so she's feeling the way she feels about him is that she feels totally fulfilled with the way things are between them she's focusing on her work and that he helped her work okay or well, he helps her work enrich it in some kind of way and also feeling like like he, he's he's a part of I don't know I, I just get this impression from this card that she's like he'll always be a part of my network Kayla views t t uh, Travis says, hey, you always be around. I'm getting family cards. She's like, he's like family to me, especially with the Six of Cups card. She's like, it's almost like she grew up with him. Like they knew each other since they were very young. Like maybe when they were kids or when they were teenagers or when they were in college or something like that. Like they knew each other when they were young. And she just feels like he's a part of her network. He's a part of, of, of the, the whole the, the structure of her, of, um, her background, her legacy, where she came up from. Okay? Family. That's what she thinks of him, okay? And she's focusing on work. Okay, let's move on to the next set of cards. Okay, we got... Being around you makes me nervous. Mm. Wow. I have something I'm going to say. I'm going to wait for the rest of the cards. I care too much what others think. I know I need to work on myself. Yeah, so I feel like he's taking time apart and he understands that he needs to do some soul searching and reflect on himself and grow himself up. That's what he thinks when, when he thinks of Kayla and Nicole. And he, he still remembers how things were. He remembers how they would fight. He remembers how she was a challenge. Um, she, she made a big impact on him. She, she made a big impact on his nervous system, his consciousness, part of the way he's wired now is because of having been through Kayla and Nicole and having dealt with her um, and, and perhaps some of it was traumatic yeah I care too much what others think yeah I think that he still he, he, he does care about her still he still feels like he's I, I'm getting like butterflies in the stomach when he sees her he still feels something for her but he wants people to think that he's moved on from her. That's what he wants people to think. He cares too much what others think. He wants them to think, I moved on from her. I'm done with that. But in his heart, he's like he still like moved by her emotionally, powerfully so, and thinks of her as the one he was going to marry at some point. But they was just too troubling. It was too intense. They're twin flames. You know, they're twin flames. All right, let's move on to her side of things. What does Kayla Nicole think of Travis Kelsey? We're getting, your kindness and care has changed me. We're getting, you are the best I ever had. Wow, see? You're the most precious person in my life. So she was like, he was he was the love of her life. Yeah, she's like, I, lo I love him the most. And so that's coming up here again. And I want to spend more time with you. So I do think she wants to hang out with him, uh, meet him again. I do think that, I do see that. That, that she doesn't want to be with him right now. But I think she's like, maybe in the future, I would like to, if he's available, I would like to come back and, and come back around and talk with him and see what, do a check-in, do a check-in, right? I feel like she'd be okay with doing it at the most. She doesn't think they're good for, to, for each other now, but she feels in the future, in the future, she would be okay with doing some kind of check-in sort of rendezvous to kind of see where things are at and just kind of check in on each other's energy but and she views him as he was the top one he was the number one okay love of her life um but she kind of masks it behind she's like i gotta be successful financially and that's the most important thing to me but when it comes to the heart he was a king of her heart okay all right let's do one more and then we'll wrap this up uh, travis kelsey and kayla nicole are going to be romantically reunited in the future Okay, let's take a look. We have two of pentacles, balancing resources, flexibility, adaptation. So, here and there, kind of. Let's see what the rest of the cards are saying, okay? Um, it's possible that he'll be, he'll be juggling her at some point. Perhaps he will be romantically reunited, but they'll be seeing other people at the same time. Perhaps she'll be, she'll be seeing someone else and we'll go ahead and see him at some point in the future as well. Kind of juggle him with someone else. Or perhaps he will juggle her with someone else. Next we're seeing the fool. Okay. So I'm seeing guys in new chapters. <laughs> new chapters for both of them. Mm-hmm. New chapters for both of them. This is the new chapter card. A new life. Freedom. Ace of Swords. I'm seeing no guys. Yeah. I felt like a maybe. Now I'm getting strong no vibes. They're not going to re romantically reunite again. 
the moon. Yeah, there's a lot of uncertainty. It doesn't seem good. You know, it's, it's like a shady situation. It's like, what? What are you talking about? That's what the cards are saying. What do you mean? Like, you know, that doesn't even... Based on the, the vibes that have been put out in the Akashic Records, the vibe with the moon card is... That's very uncertain because of the things that went on between them with the devil card, the toxicity in the relationship, eight of wands, the, the domestic um, chaos, and just, you know, there's some bad mojo between the two of them five of wands exactly um they, they have a lot of conflicting interests uh, you know it's funny is it is as, as successful as he is i feel like she's more about very she's more ambitious than he is she's actually more ambitious than he is she's more about i gotta get mine i gotta be powerful in this world i gotta be somebody like they conflict there actually okay he's more laid back uh more like yeah i'm successful but i this i need balance in my life i need other things um and she's like almost to the exclusive, she's almost exclusively about the ambition and the, the material pursuits, okay? And I feel like they just have competing interests, guys, right? And I feel like there might be ego, ego is involved too. Perhaps where, you know, I feel like he's expecting her to be a certain way, and she's expecting him to be a certain way. I feel like when it comes to communication issues, they're different. They're very different. They don't, it's very hard for them to talk to each other. They don't even communicate the same. I feel like when they're together, one of them had to be very quiet or else they would, you know, they would get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the other person viewed it as talking trash. You know, they just, they, they were, com they were very incompatible, especially when it comes to communication. They just had too many fights in the Wheel of Fortune, right? I think it's just on to the next with these two. On to the next, okay? Um, there's a slim chance, especially with the Two of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, that time will come around again, and when it does, and, and say things are very, the energies have to be very different than they are now, and that's going to take some time. The Wheel of Fortune is big amounts of time. Look, we've seen the numbers, the chronometer, the months rolling by, the years rolling by, you know. Um, so a lot of time would have to pass for them to possibly revisit this and if they do it wouldn't be like they would be committed or lock steady or anything like that It'd be like well i'll try you out on the side i'll go out on a lunch date with you or something or hang out here or there or chit chat for a bit but it will never be like serious between them i just don't see it guys i don't see it um and that is all i'm seeing in the cards if you enjoyed this reading please put a thumbs up on it let me know what you thought your thoughts feelings down below i'm really curious to know what you think um Take very good care of yourself, okay? Bye.